side first to Messi, back to Jordi Alba, and across. And Saturday's 6 2 win against New England Revolution, in which Messi scored his first MLS hat trick, meant they topped the table in record breaking fashion with 74 points, the most by a team in MLS history. In MLS, though, as is the case in American sports generally, the champion is not the team that tops the regular season standings, but the team that wins the postseason playoffs, which begin this week. It means Messi and his fellow former Barcelona buddies Luis Suarez, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba, coached by former Barcelona and Argentina boss Tata Martino, will play their biggest games as Inter-Miami players in the coming weeks. The supporters' shield win means Messi has already claimed two trophies during his short time in Miami, the first of which came shortly after he joined the team in July 2023, when he was thrust into the limelight of a newly expanded Leeds Cup competition. The Leeds Cup pits every team from NLS against every team from Mexico's Liga MX in a World Cup-style mid-season tournament, and at the time it felt like one made especially for Messi. Inter Miami went all the way, defeating Nashville on penalties in the final. But that was very much a sideshow. The MLS Cup playoffs are where this team will be judged. The challenge for Messi now is to claim MLS flagship title. There is a sense that it would be good for the lead for him to do so, given the attention it would attract. But this has led to a backlash against some aspects of Messi mania from fans of other teams as most of the attention on the league falls, perhaps understandably, on Inter Miami and the Argentine superstar. As is the case when any side is successful, or expected to be so, and is given more coverage as a result, they soon become the team everyone wants to beat. Having a team that provokes the ire of the opposition can be good for a league's competitive spirit, which can sometimes be lacking in a relatively new league such as MLS in which 18 of the 29 teams qualify for the postseason, and there is no traditional league title winner and no relegation. Amid all of this is a general appreciation that one of the best players of all time is plying his trade in the US, and fans have turned out across the country to watch Messi. If Inter Miami go all the way, it will be one of the most keenly anticipated MLS Cup finals of all time at least for those looking to attend the game itself. When it comes to TV viewership though, MLS has sacrificed a potentially larger TV audience in favor of putting Messi behind an Apple TV subscription service. Although Messi often went on holiday in Miami before moving there for work, his time in MLS has not been an end of career vacation. The determination to succeed with Argentina in the latter part of his international career has been reflected in his conduct with Inter Miami at club level. His captain status is not merely a token gesture. The 37-year-old remains highly competitive with a desire to turn Inter Miami into serial winners. He has mucked in with the whole group, from supporting youth players such as Brighton-bound 21-year-old Diego Gomes and 19-year-old local youth product Benjamin Pramaschi, to forming familiar partnerships with Suarez, Busquets and Alba. Martino was the ideal head coach to bring all of this together. Not only had he previously coached Messi, Alba and Busquets, but he also won an MLS Cup with Atlanta United in 2018. He and sporting director Chris Henderson have created a functioning team around these star players, one that continued to get results when the stars were unavailable. NLS carries on playing through international breaks, so Messi and Suarez missed several games because of national team call-ups. The 2024 Copa America took place in the middle of the NLS season and left into Miami without the services of both for five league games. An injury Messi picked up at the Copa America meant he missed the entirety of the 2024 Leeds Cup, in which Inter Miami were knocked out by Columbus Crew in the last 16 plus an additional four games in NLS. In the run of nine games without Messi around the time of the Copa America, Inter Miami won eight of them. As much as the brilliance of Messi and Suarez contributed to Inter Miami's successful regular season, it was this run of wins and their absence that made the record-breaking supporters 
shield when possible.